Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 11 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play. <laughs> Look down the hallway, you can see, like, oh wait, I think an animal just disappeared. Uh, I saw a couple of animals down there. Oh, we're going the wrong way. I guess they must have just despawned. No, look! There's like a whole bunch of them. Holy cow. A parrot? We got flint chickens. Three flint chickens. Wow. We might actually want to go ahead and... I want that parrot. Oh, look at it. Yeah, squawk. Squawk, squawk. Um... Let's go get, uh, some nets. Actually, I need to make those. I don't think that's enough. Uh, do, 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 do. It's like, it's a really weird recipe. Uh... I don't know. Oh. Okay, let's do this net. Where are you, netty boy? Netty boy. Okay, let's try this. Animal. Animal play. There it is. Okay, three sticks, three string. Oh, okay, yeah. That's exactly what we needed. Boop, boop, boop. I want you, boy, and then there we go. Okay, uh, you can um, you can just stay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> sorry about the distraction. That's not what today's episode is about. Um, just throw these guys in here along with that. You can go there and you guys can go there. Okay, so um, let's sort of get some of this stuff squared away. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, last episode I put a torch, or not a torch, <laughs> A lever on there to try to turn this off but all you have to do is put um, change the redstone control on it which is nice so right now it's uh it's doing nothing which is good because we got a chest full of stuff up there we have to to deal with right now so I also discovered we have another problem we have to deal with um, these are completely out of cobblestone. That cobblestone generator is only keeping up with one. It's doing one cobblestone through there. So these other two right now with these upgrades are not doing anything. So um, we may, we need to either upgrade this one Or add two more. Um, it's only iron to upgrade it. I'm thinking we might need to just add. Because. Um, let's look. Cobblestone. General. Tor. And that should be at the end. Okay, so this... Oh, that's the tier 2. We want the base one. 
makes one cobblestone every 40 ticks. And this doubles it to one cobblestone every 20 ticks. So we would uh, would definitely need a lot more. So it might be better off to make two more cobblestone generators and then upgrade them to tier two. I think that's what, what we're going to need to do. But before we go doing that, um, we want to deal with uh, all the stuff upstairs. Um, so we're going to have to make controller, like a drawer controller. But I think I'll leave this chest here. maybe put a controller there so that we can just make a short pipe and have it feed everything into there and then we can have um, well see the problem with that is well we could have it filter out just the things that are going to go there. Um, yeah, because that's not a big thing. Uh, and then we can have it like pull from this side and come over here to a little processing center. Um, uh, we might need some power for it might uh, we are going to need some power for it oh it's a shame we don't have another one of those um, specter coils but honestly we don't need the second one on there um, now because it's not going to be going as fast as it can because it's only only one machine is running down there and then once once we get it going all of those are going to be throttled by our cobblestone generators how fast can they produce cobble as to how fast that power is going to get eaten up so we may be able to cut it down to just one specter coil there and then we can bring the other one up here it's a shame that I broke that other one. I I broke, it was on the top and I broke it with my fist and it just poofed, it disappeared. I thought maybe this had picked it up, but I looked in there and there was, there was nothing. So uh, yeah, Debbie sad. Look at that, look at all that loot. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, the Ender I.O. filters should hold these five items on one side. It shouldn't be a problem, but we're going to need um, more transfer nodes. And uh, these transfer nodes are pretty slow. Do, do I have any more made? I believe I do. I have some fluid transfer nodes. And we're going to need our pipe. I need this chest. I don't need anything else. Just this chest. Um, we're going to need a drawer controller to send that stuff into. So let's um, get rid of that. I know how to make a cobblestone generator. Okay, let's scroll down to the end there. This is, uh, we don't need the compacting drawer. Actually, that would be good to, to store it, things in. Um, this is what we want, the drawer controller. Uh, the comparators, yeah, I knew I needed 
I knew I needed the quartz or something. It's the comparators uh, and the diamond that's the gate for this because you you need to have uh, quartz so you're either into um, sifting soul sand or you're, you've gone to the nether to get the quartz, which we've gone to the nether, we got the quartz. So we're gonna need our quartz. Um, we just need two of those, right? No, not the compacting drawer. Yeah, two and then some redstone. Awesome. And we're also gonna need a bunch of stone. Oh man, I used up my stone. Um, let's go ahead and get another stack of stone smelting over there. We're going to need to grab out, oh, wow, I'm going to need some more redstone. And let's get our wood out while we're crafting. And we'll leave that out too, uh, just in case we need cobblestone for anything. So we need six... Six torches and boom, 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 boom. Oh, we need to we need to go upstairs and grab a diamond. Whoopsie. There we go. And we should have one right handy right here. Excellent. So, do we have all the stuff now? Yeah. Oh, no, we we need another drawer. Mhm. Mm oh, I think that's the right thing. Yes. We have a drawer controller. I think that's an actual quest. Maybe we haven't gotten to it yet. I think it's in the storage. Oh, it tells you you need to make a compacting drawer first. And then it goes to the drawer controller. Um, so maybe we want to make that. Uh, because I want, I want, I would like to get a compacting drawer. So we need another drawer, two pistons, and a bit of iron. Oh, I'm glad I've got that cobblestone and the wood out. Awesome. Okay. No, this one. Oh, we're gonna need one more drawer. Wow, that's a lot of work. Is it like that? And like that? I'm amazing! <laughs> we did a thing! Let's claim our loot chest. And then we get this other one. Uh, I already know about the drawer controllers, but let's read it because I may have forgotten something. Drawer controllers are the second special block in the mod. They will search for any connected drawer within 12 blocks and then expose all of those drawers as a large combined inventory. This lets you hook up a single pipe, tube, duct, spark, storage bus, etc. and interact with the entire bank of drawers. The second function of the controller is as a deposit only interactive block. By right clicking on the front face with an item, the item will be deposited into the connected network. By double right clicking, it will attempt to dump your entire inventory. Items will 
only be dumped if they already exist in the network, allowing you to clear out a bunch of mob drops or farmed crops without literally dumping your entire inventory. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, I actually think I have these keys from loot, uh, loot bags. So, um, yeah. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Okay, so, oh, nice. That will go well with our, um, Emmy drives that we have. Oh, nice. 16 more ultimate upgrades. Sweet. Um, I know we didn't even look at the recipes for those last time. Let's dump these guys in there as well. Uh, look at this, the recipe for this, guys. This is crazy. Okay. So the recipe for a speed upgrade is a block of redstone, a gold, and an upgrade base. And an upgrade base is a gold pressure plate in a resonator for eight grid points. Um, so that's nothing we can't do for that one. And then we have the upgrade magical, which takes one of those and all of these uh, crazy enchanted ingots and magical apples. Holy cow. Okay, that's eight apples with magical wood and that's a block of enchanted metal which I don't know how to I guess you use an enchanter you get a block of gold and nine lapis in the enchanter which I guess that looks like it's powered uh, so yeah, that's just for that one. And then we go to the ultimate. And that takes a magical one plus evil infused iron ingots and drops of evil. And these, I believe, only drop their rare drop off of wither skeletons. So, and these, I guess, are made in the enchanter with eight iron ingots and a nether star so yeah <laughs> those are pretty darn expensive and so are these i mean that's just a a really fantastic reward um in my opinion now that we're using them <laughs> anyway so whoo what did we come over here for again we're making some stone there. Uh, yeah, we... Oh, let's go get those keys while we're over here. I hate to, like, waste gold to make these when we have them. Oh, also, another thing I got from the loot bags was... Look at this. We got four draconium ingots, four draconium dust, and a tier three growth crystal. I want to go put that in the farms, uh, but I, <laughs> I want to do all the things, and I don't know what to do first. Ah, so let's go upstairs, and we'll figure out where to put our drawer controller. So what I'm thinking is. I can put it up here and then we can make some trim blocks. Boink. Uh, there. And what I want to do is I want to replace these with compacting drawers because this is where I'm going to store the metals. Uh, and I would like those to be where I can easily access all the blocks and the ingots and the nuggets uh, all at once. Um, so that would be awesome. So yeah, I got a little bit of crafting. There are nine, um, nine different metals. 
but there's also a tenth one but you don't get that until you start pulverizing things um i think it's gold if you pulverize gold you get um there's a rare chance you can get platinum. That's like the only way you can get platinum in this mod pack is by pulverizing gold, I think. But that's a tenth one. That's what that one's up there for. So uh, the trim block. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it down? Oh, yeah. It's here it is. Oak trim. That's what it is. Uh, planks and sticks. And we just need to get that. Dude, what happened? I thought I had an extra. Okay, so there's our trim. The problem with the trim is it looks really close to... Uh, Um, we're going to have to use this drawer key to, um, lock these. Oh, I guess, boom, you can do that and lock them all. And that's pretty much it for that. Now we want to, uh, get our transfer nodes. So we basically need... For this, we're going to need um, see, see if I can remember the recipe. <gasps> I'm amazing! And then there's a filter. Oh, we don't have enough stream, I don't think. Did I just get that? Aw, oh, dude. Okay, I haven't been over to the string uh, bonsai plant in a while, so hopefully we have a little bit. Arr. Whoa, how did that happen? What's in the bag? Oh, we got some seared brick and some more sponges. Okay, that was off of uh, the little things. <gasps> Look at all that, yes. Definitely use all that. Awesome. Okay, so we locked our drawers. Actually, let's um let's turn in the quest. And I think we have another Oh, we got black lotus. Do we have another one? Nope, we already opened it. Okay, let's go throw this stuff away. I mean, not a way. Um, I am going to put the personal key up because I don't need that, but I do want to keep this drawer key handy. So we'll just put it in there for now and we'll put the oak trim up. As well as that. Yeah. So, yeah, we can put that helmet in there, um, that personal key, so the sponge can go there, and I think we actually have a stack of seared bricks over here. Okay, the filter, I think it's like a redstone, sticks. Oh, no, 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 no. And, yeah, so it's it's the opposite. I think it's only one string. And then it's four redstone. No, maybe it's... Ha-ha! Okay. Oh, there's another parrot! Drats! Okay, so... Yes, please. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, where were we? 
Um, this is going to be for the part that just pulling out the diamonds. It's just going to pull out the diamonds and nothing else. Uh, well, not the diamonds, but all of the stuff and things. You know what I mean. Shut up. So, all we have to do is we want to whitelist all this stuff. I like it that you can shift click those in there. I wish like the thermal expansion filters would let you do that. So we want it to whitelist these things. That means this, no, this will only pull out those items. So look, it's already pulling it out and it's searching for the inventory. So let's tell it where to go there. Now we should see that it's pulling out even more grains of infinity. So this is pretty slow, uh, but we can speed it up later if it doesn't keep up. What, what is important is that uh, it is pulling things out and putting them where they belong so we don't have to do it ourselves, which is the important thing. Hurrah! So that's five things we don't have to do. Oh, look, it's taken one out of each stack, which is kind of cool. Look at all that iron ore. Jiminy. Okay, now we need to deal with our ore chunks. Right now, we only have six different chunks to work with. Uh, because we're only dealing with the gravel at the moment. We'll add dust later for sure. Um, we're probably going to go over there and make another room and then the dust will get sorted and and be brought over into this because this is all the different there are nine different non-metal things for the dust. Uh, and only three different types of metals, gold, silver, and nickel, which you can't get any of those from gravel. <laughs> so it'll be super awesome. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna pull our chunks out of this side, right, and send them over to be processed. Um, so we're gonna need another filter, but we need more redstone. Yeah, I think that's all we need. So we need one more string. The redstone goes in the corners. There we go. And now we'll fill this up um, and just shift click those in there. Hooray, we're done with that. Awesome, and now it's, it's only got that stuff to deal with. So, so what we're gonna have is an auto crafter, a crusher, and then a furnace. And all of those things can be made with extra utility. So let's get rid of the storage drawer thing to uh, narrow down our stuff. Uh, yeah, here's the furnace. Oh, that's pretty easy. We have a machine block and we have clay. So we could make that easy peasy. Let's sort of get that out. Uh, but we have a machine block. Yes, we have one left. Um, oh, we only have two clay bricks. But we do have some clay over here. And it won't take like lickety split eight clay. And we need that. 
I really need to <laughs> figure out a way to fall from there without taking damage. Like, uh, maybe put some... Bouncy blocks. Like, slime blocks. Excuse me, coming through. Our little tree has been over here. I'm afraid to look in here. Oh my god! Um, so I'm wondering, does this break your fall damage? Uh, let's try it out. I mainly want to try it out here. Well, it is bouncy, for sure. All right, let's see. Oh, and then you have to, oh, you can't. I thought if you were sneaking, it would stop you from bouncing, but it's not. Oh, okay, so I'm taking fall damage anyway. That's silly, I thought if you push shift, it would keep you from bouncing again, so you would let it be sneaking. Okay, well, I thought I would find a use for those blocks, but uh, I think it might be different. These are different blocks than the vanilla blocks, so they're behaving differently. Uh, but I think you can, like, break these down into four slime balls. And what you need is... Um, This is the vanilla slime block. And this one, you should be able to sneak and you don't bounce. Okay, so maybe we'll make a bunch of those. And we'll see if that works. I mean, that should. Alright, let's go try it out. I use all my food from ball damage that I take doing this. Yes. Excellent. All right, next time I go up there, I'll put those away. But right now, we need the furnace, which our bricks are now done. So, there's the furnace in our series of machines. We're also going to need the mechanical crafter. No, that's not what we want. Uh, I uh, <laughs> thought we were going to use all extra utilities, but we don't want the mechanical crafter because you need, this only holds like one recipe and we want uh, more. We want more. Uh, we also need this crusher, which we're going to need more machine blocks. Uh, so we need a chest. I like this recipe. I like this recipe. Oh. Redstone. But that's okay. We got more. I just need to go get it. I'm curious. Am I, am I going to need those like on all the sides? Oh, let's get the redstone before I goof and jump down. What? Oh, God. I'm ringing them. Oh, two redstone. That's not enough. I'm a redstone whore. I bow my head in shame. <laughs> this is horrible. 
I had loads. I had loads and loads. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Um. <sighs> we need the two redstone for the two pistons and then we're out. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, this is a bad thing, bad thing, out of redstone. Oh, no, I can't make it because I don't have the machine case. <sighs> okay. But this is going to be for furnace. Bada bing, bada boom. <sighs> okay, so we're going to have to go and break down. Uh, actually, let's see if we can take a shortcut and... Um, just come steal some of this gravel. All right, let's go into here and go. K K K K. Boink. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I gotta do this again. Okay, and and dust is like the hardest one. We already got the flint chicken. Because you have to go through all of them. And they added dirt into this mod pack. Uh, so you have to go through an extra step to get to the dust. So there we go. Uh, we're probably going to need another hammer. Hammy's looking pretty low. Um, I also forgot there's like a better wand mod in this mod pack. I mean, I generally don't use that uh, as religiously as I should because I try not to break down anything unless I absolutely have to. There we go. I love that. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get some more sticks. And some cobblestone. Uh, WW. Actually, that's holding W and then just clicking them in. Last one. Um, how many uses is that left? Three. It always breaks on the one after and then gives you the block back because it can't process it. All right. Now, oh, I forgot, I pushed the wrong button. I want to pull this stuff out and have it um, sift. <laughs> I just look down at my cat. She's, she's over there on top of the couch, laying on her back on one of the cushions. Just like there's not a care in the world. And she knows I'm talking about her. So she's looking right at me now. Sorry, I interrupted your nap. Okay, so let's turn this back on. Always on. Oh, it's sieving the one up there currently. There it goes. 
Uh, now let's go ahead and take the gravel out. Oh no, it's going to put it back in. Oh no! Oh, look at how fast it's going. So that can store up to six stacks. going so fast to um, maybe I can tell this yeah let's tell this to uh, pause <laughs> come on I said pause there we go and now that's gonna get us some redstone throw this gravel somewhere. All the gravel. Put that back in. I just need the redstone. <laughs> ah, four. All right. Um, so. Ah, Zort. So we needed the four redstone. To make the machine casing for our crusher. There we go. Now there's our crusher. These might need to be spread out. Uh, plus they're going to need power. But first, we need to look at our, at, at RF tools. Oh wow, they have a lot of things. Uh, we want... Uh, the auto crafter. Oh my god, I hate this. I wish that tool tip would just go to the middle. Um, is there a way to do that? Tool tip. Oh, that's not. Hmm. Well, let's disable it. Does that is that what it is? Nope. Okay. Well, poo. Okay. <laughs> hi, bitty bit. Did you come to say hi? All right. So, RF tools. We're looking for this is the machine frame. It's the crafter. The crafter. Actually, let's just do that. Uh, just to um, get that that craft tier one crafter. So we we're gonna need the machine frame, which is luckily we got some uh, gold nuggets, iron, and lapis. Uh, oh, the gold isn't up here. four, isn't it? No, just two. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I need the, 
I need the box on that side too. <laughs> All right, let's do this. What a bing, bada boom. Should say, oh, you only get one out of that. Uh, two crafting tables. Uh, two, oh, look at that. Now, the thing is, uh, this isn't at the stage that we want it. It will only do, like, two recipes. So, um, we definitely need to upgrade this one. Uh, and you can do that by doing this. You just add two more crafting tables and two more torches. And we don't have the redstone, so we got to go back up. That is one of the drawbacks to having a spread out base, is you get to do a lot of traveling around. But it, where is it getting gravel? How did it get more gravel? It should not be getting gravel. It must have sent more out, uh, and I didn't know it. Okay, let's just concentrate on getting, uh, <laughs> getting it upgraded, get the, the, the stuff and things. Okay, we need two more torches, and let's go ahead and just make the two more Torches, because the there is another upgrade. Um, that requires it's basically the same recipe, just uh, two crafting tables and two torches, and there's a tier three. Uh, oh, I think it holds. This machine can handle up to four recipes at once and allows recipes to use the crafting results of previous steps. Um, then this one can hold up to eight. We want this one because we have six recipes uh, that we need to take care of. So there we go. There's our third piece to our processing. Now we may need more than this, but this is going to get us uh, the base. I love how it gets sucked up in there. Boom! Let's get that redstone. Holy cow, look at all this stuff. All right. Oh, is that it? That looks like, nope. Why did it only do one? Oh, I bet it was just using up the rest of the stack. That's weird that it won't pull from all the stacks at once. Uh, so, yeah, this, uh, this needs power. Uh, this needs power, and this needs power, so... Um... I think we can do the same setup, but what we want right now is to get our node up here and just feed it in into here. So I'm trying to think, uh, we might put the power in the floor, 
there so that I can pull this down into the top of there and then have it uh, feed into here from there. So basically, we're just going to want to pull... I don't know if we need the filter for this, if it will pull out, um, you know, just everything willy-nilly. And then we'll have to feed what comes out of here into the furnace. But once I come down here, those pipes are going to combine, which is no good. But I think if I had a wrench of some sort, which I think it only takes like, um, a 10 and three iron to make the thermal expansion wrench. Yeah, so I think if I take a wrench, it used to be a stick, uh, but I think they actually have a wrench now for extra utilities. So I think, but I think you can use any wrench there. You had to click on both of them to disconnect them. So there we go. And now, hopefully that's, uh, yep. All right, so that's going to start feeding things into it. And we want to double click to edit this recipe. Uh, we want it to take the iron and make that apply. And then there's the iron ore chunk. Um, remember the current items in the internal and external buffers. Uh, I don't think that's Result of crafting operation will go to output buffer. Yes, that's what we want. All items in input slots are consumed. Yeah, that's what we want. Um, we want to ignore redstone. And we want to go fast. I don't know if that takes a different amount, but we're going to need power now. Uh, so let's these away. We're going to have to make another cell. Ow, I missed. <laughs> uh, so we're going to need, oh, where did you go? An electrum, some lead. I don't think we needed any copper. Oh, we're going to need glass. Uh, so we need like a uh, lead gear, uh, some iron to make the frame, and then we're going to need, oops, you go in the middle, that, uh, we're also going to need, yikes, a redstone block. Then it goes like this and like that. And then we have our energy cell. We're going to go and grab one of those off of there. And we're going to grab our other three power cables while we're here. Because we're smart. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think this, this will be... Just perfect, let me, no, I can't, <laughs> let me back. Okay, so 
we put this here, we want it to go out the left side. And then, um, actually, let's place... back there. There we go. I can't get it. Ah! <laughs> Cobble! Is it going? Are you going? Oh, look at it go! And it's going over here and it's crushing it up. And then it's putting it in here. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, it's got a gold door dust. Um, so what we need here is um, actually another transfer node. And I think if we did a slave, like we could do this, uh, put a slave here and then a trim there. I know I got a trim. Put a trim there. It's very similar to the, uh, you still need the comparators, it just uses a gold instead of a diamond. So we're going to need our other drawer. We have to go down, oh, we better, oh I can't use the last torch. <laughs> Because, uh, ouch. Then you have to, oh, why won't it just go in? I wish it would just stack with that. And we're up. We're up, up, up. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're figuring it out, um, the slave. Oh, we need it. Uh, woo! Oh, that made me take damage. I pushed the shift and it made me take damage. Which, that kind of sucked. So you got to land and then push shift to stop bouncing. Okay, I think it's out of stuff. So let's grab all of the redstone. Is that able to feed? Okay, it didn't have as much of the stuff of the other stuff as it did to the iron yeah. and it's already processed all the iron so okay um hurry. yes we have enough uh that's what we need right there I didn't get the gold. No, there's our drawer. And then it goes like this. I went down there and I didn't get the gold. There we go. That's how you do it. And then you're slow. Ah. See, once we get all this set up, all that metal will be up there, and that will be a much better place to craft in, except for stuff should be flying everywhere, because it'll be sifting. Uh, so yeah, not good. 
Okay, so the slaves should allow us to put things into there and it will act like it's a drawer controller, I think. So let's try it. Um, and actually we'll, we'll want to put the iron in there. Oh man, we need to make the... Uh, so let's get this last transfer node No, it's there. Get this last transfer node. We just want to put it there and there. Did it work? It's got gold now. It only had a couple, that's right, uh, because of the gold was clogging it up. So we gotta tell it where to put the gold, but I want a compacting drawer. Yeah, we got that, we got this. I need more wood. Oh boy. So, yes, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I will finish this up and next time we'll come back and we'll have lots of good stuff. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.